welcome back to the channel. We lost uh, most of our snow at the house here uh, all this week. We had a couple 17, 18 degree days. One of the nights only got down to 8 degrees plus 8 Celsius. So we're going to head north and try to get into the property with the snowmobile one more time, hopefully. Um, Michelle's actually coming with me and we're going to spend the night. It's going to be the first time two people are overnight in the trapper's cabin. So we have uh, a full full pelican sled full of gear because I'm bringing the saws and the tools, finish up a few things and uh, going to start cutting some vertical posts for uh, covered, covered deck roofs there. So uh, we'll load up here, make our way north and we'll see uh, how sparse the snow is up there. Hopefully they still got quite a bit, but we're going to load up the, the saws and everything. Making our way back in for the overnighter here. I had to drive the truck quite a bit further than where I normally park. Snow conditions are less than ideal. But this is just an update on how the snow bridge is making out. It's holding up pretty good. It's not even uh, on the skid really anymore. So that might collapse, settle down onto the skid a little bit here. But that's my second one crossing and it was uneventful so far. But I don't know if I'll get next weekend in or not. It's supposed to be warm in the daytime again this week. So we just walked up to the dam, let the snowmobile cool down a little bit. It's just white ice that I'm driving on really. Um, but the dam's holding up pretty good. Should have no problem getting across it today or if I can get up next Saturday on the snowmobiles again, that'd be good, but we'll Poke our way through the bush there and try to get all the way in without any issues. We have a fairly heavy load with us that uh, Pelican's right heaped up. But this stays flowing all winter long, so it's not very good for getting the sled across it. All right, let's go. Trail clearing the dew. There's actually pretty a uh, lot of little sticks and twigs on the trail. We'll get this out of the way. Still deep off the trail. Uh, the skids are still there, but we lost our snow bridge. It's a pretty sharp and it looks like about six to eight inches. Uh, and it's Probably pretty frozen snow on the other side, so this could be a bit of a Issue getting across I think I'm just gonna try it and deal with the consequences if it doesn't work well, so we'll see how this goes Across the bridge, that was the last obstacle up the hill. And we're losing snow. This is uh, southeast facing this slope here, so it's catching some snow. This is the rubbish I had to go through last week. 
But yeah, we're fire pits all melted out, decks all melted off. We got quite a bit of wind. There's some of the stuff didn't stay where I left it. Picnic table's blown off the deck. But uh some unburied treasures we didn't know were in here. One of the reasons I got stuck over here has been thawed out. This little chunk of wood caused me all sorts of grief for one stuck. But we made it in. No snow on the roof. Snow was all off the wood pile under the trees there. And that would have us still standing in the wind. We're going to get unpacked here. First time we do, haven't had to shovel snow, so that's kind of nice. The stream is flowing now. A lot of water coming down through here. Well, there's the load uncovered. <laughs> bit much for one night probably <laughs> well we got snowshoes i don't know if we'll need them i mean we are sinking off trail so it'll probably make the walk a little easier we're gonna finally try to explore the east end of the property where the future cabin site will be well, we got food and gear for two so now we gotta find a way to fit two of us in our gear and structure that big <laughs> we'll get unpacked here and get some fires going Sweep off the pine needles from the deck. It's been frozen every other time that I was here, so I imagine they're still probably frozen in their little piles. But we'll see what we can do. Probably gonna drop that uh, dead tree right there. And I got some other limb piles from earlier in the winter. We'll probably have a bonfire tonight and burn some of the scraps that are now coming unburied around here. Should be good. I think it's only minus five right now but it's windy again the wind chills been unreal always top up and that's going to sit there while I'm in the top up. Good.
little bit frozen stuff. Some leftover goulash from the other weekend. Still froze. Well, we had a good day up here at the cabin this Saturday. Dropped a couple of dead trees around here. We're gonna have a little fire and clean up some stuff around the camp here that's now uncovered from a bit of snow melt. We just got back from a two hour long snowshoe um, with the spring snow and the, uh, it was pretty firm. So with the snowshoes on, we could stay right on top. So we actually got to cover pretty well the entire property. So I've seen it all now in the winter time, which is really good. Um, last few times that we tried doing it, I couldn't be, we couldn't get, make much ground. You saw the video of the waist deep in some spot. But we're gonna pull it out and hopefully this wind dies down before we just get a little fire going here. And instead of being cooked up in 49 square feet all night, we'll sit out here around a little bonfire before we pack her in for the night. But uh, maybe tomorrow we'll head uh, south on the snowshoes and or some of the crown man south of us. And uh, it's pretty well within probably five, six hundred yards from, in all directions now once we get this covered tomorrow in the winter time. So learning learning the area. The more and more I walk it, the more and more I fall in love with this place. But it was a great day today. I haven't really done any projects on the outhouse or the uh, covered porch here, but just enjoying it. I cut one uh, one vertical post out of that dead tree. Maybe I'll take the bark off tomorrow and uh, maybe cut a couple more down. This spring I'll probably try putting that together. All the stuff's already up here, so I'll just walk in or canoe in and uh, assemble that. But we just got that goulash on there. I got the fire rocking now, so we're gonna warm that up, have a bite to eat, then get this fire going. Still a little windy, so I'm keeping it small, just going piece by piece, but we got the bonfire going. We got that second tree cleaned off the trail, and we're working on cleaning up the rest of the top of that dead one. But we're gonna spend another hour or so outside dealing with this, and then pack her in for the night. The candle lantern hanging in the tree over there, one in the cabin. bit of the hot coals and those two trees just about done it's only like 8 30 though we're gonna stay out here right till the end before we go into the cabin candle lantern's still giving her that's still the original candle in it well we survived the night both of us i was on the top bunk it wasn't too bad we both slept really well actually i woke up at uh 
3, 3.30 in the morning, I think, and just attended to the fire. Didn't need any wood, uh, because I put a few big rounds on it. Just needed to be stoked up a bit. I think I made it down to 16 Celsius in the camera. Most of the time, it was, uh, perfect, actually. But, it was a nice morning. This morning, it just started snowing out there. And the wind picked right up. And, uh, it's actually pretty nasty. So, where I left the, uh, left the truck worried about the snow getting too deep where it is she's not very nice out here now we were gonna go for a walk and do some more stuff but uh i think we're just gonna have breakfast here clean up and uh make our way back out to the truck so we don't have any issues driving out of where i parked it was a good night all the uh tree got cleaned up there's the pit what's left of the two trees there but snow has been falling at quite the rate so we don't get out of here in a bit could have issues with the truck <laughs> Well, this wraps up another episode of Against the Grain Living with Jeremy Moore. Um, we're pretty well packed up, up there. Michelle and I had a good time up here, explored the property in that direction, northeast yesterday. So we're gonna head uh, south, straight south. We'll be going a little bit west, getting into some crown land, but uh, thanks again for watching. Please share and subscribe and uh, tell your friends about it. We'll see you next time.